Hi everybody, so this is a toilet brush holder that we used in video 1726 to make our rocket stove and it's a great thing, it's a couple of quids worth of stainless steel picked up from the local box store. Now it's made with a seam here and a seam at the bottom and they're called a rolled seam and they're great for holding things together but they won't hold things in and for reasons of my very own I want to put a load of water in this. Now a seam that leaks is not really a problem for a dirty toilet brush as long as you don't try drinking from it but a seam that leaks that you want to hold water in and maybe boil, well that's a problem because because you can't use a rubber sealant, you can't really use resin sealants, you can't really use glues. You've got to think of another way of doing this and oddly enough Stainless steel is one of those things that's actually quite easy to solder. In the same way that you would solder a copper pipe fitting for your water supply, you can solder stainless steel. The trick is, keep it clean, use the right flux, and use a solder with anything above 50% of tin in it, which is pretty much any solder you're going to get. So, we need to prepare this properly by cleaning it with a bit of IPA or acetone and then apply the flux. Now you can buy the fluxes, they're acid fluxes for stainless steel, or you can make one. And we're going to make one. What I've got here is 50 grams of 75% concentrated phosphoric acid. So I'm not saying everybody should make one. If you're used to handling concentrators acids, fantastic, and you'll notice gloves. Phosphoric acid is one of those things you find in rust cure actually. Uh, you also find it in uh, Coca-Colas. Oh, Coca-Cola are going to sue me now. You also find it in colas. <laughs> the few percent of phosphoric acid is why it cleans pennies and why it rots your teeth. But we have 100 gram, uh, sorry, 50 grams of 75% phosphoric acid right there. And here we have some copper carbonate, 5 grams of it, because the acid and the copper react really well to form a solderable coat on stainless steel. So to make this, all we do is chuck the carbonate in the acid, give it a stir, and it will dissolve throughout, and we will have our flux. And there is our flux. Now you can use hydrochloric acid and zinc chloride, or like I suggested, you can just buy it. Now after that, of course, you treat it like anything else. You give it a clean, the first thing to clean your joints with is a bit of IPA or a bit of acetone to remove any grease. If you've got any rust or spots on there then obviously, says he looking for it, there we go. Bit of steel wool over it to make sure that it's nice and clean and then another going over with the acetone. So make sure your joint is clean, make sure you've got all the grease out of there and then you can apply your flux to the joint. Okay, and when you've done that, you give it a clean because you've just put some acid on there and what you end up with is a watertight joint. Now, of course, the solder now can't get back to the temperature because we've got water in there. So it's going to get to 100 degrees and that's it. That solder melts at 200, 300 degrees centigrade, depending on the type that you're using. So we have ourselves a watertight container in which we can boil water, which is really handy because I plan on making a gilly kettle or a kelly kettle, as they're often called. And I'm going to put that on the rocket stove that we made in 1726. So we make a rocket kettle. So that's the overall objective but I wanted to show you how to solder stainless steel so that you knew that we how to do it and that that's what we were going to use anyway I hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe